the Buddha says you should reflect with every in and out breath. That you can do a lot with this breath. Don't let it go to waste. He calls this mindfulness of death. You don't have to think about death all the time, but realize that you don't know how much more time you have. But you do have this moment right now, so make the most of it. Look at your mind. See where it's scattered. See if you can gather it in. Where it's gathered in, see how you can maintain it. And when you can maintain it, see how you can put it to use. Otherwise, this breath just goes to waste. I said, complacent attitude, well, I have plenty of time, and I've done a lot of good with my life, I can relax right now. Well, there's a way of relaxing but also being strict with yourself. In other words, trying to create a sense of ease through the concentration and to maintain that. But the mindfulness has to be alert, because the mind is so quick to change its direction. As the Buddha said, there's nothing that you could compare with it. So you want to make sure that it stays on course. When you've done that much, okay, you've got a good start. And then you just keep going, going, going. This is how heedfulness leads to skillfulness. And skillfulness leads to happiness, as the Buddha said. If you can avoid unskillful behavior and develop skillful behavior, it leads to happiness. If it didn't lead to happiness, he wouldn't teach it. And if it was something that people couldn't do, he wouldn't teach it. So we can stick with skillful activities, only skillful activities, all the time. He says it is possible. So see what part of your mind says, well, I can do it only sometime, but not all the time. And that other time when you're not doing it, okay, what, what are you doing? And why? And why can't you develop skillfulness then? It's something that can be done all the time. Tell yourself that. And then see how you can develop your concentration, develop the sense of well-being that comes with being with the breath, the strength that comes with being with the breath, so that you can maintain your mindfulness, your concentration, your alertness, all the factors of the path, all the time. That's when you're being heedful. And this is how you arrive at completion, the Buddha is. Buddha's last word was to arrive at completion. When we translate it in English, heedfulness becomes the last word. But in Pali it's somebody taught. The heedfulness comes first and then the completion comes later. And completion is something that we can attain. Don't think of it as an inhuman goal. If it were inhuman, the Buddha wouldn't have taught it. So this breath, this breath, this breath, be on top of this breath. And the practice will develop strength and solidity, and it becomes something you really can depend on. And you become a person you can depend on as well.